Cardano is a blockchain project that has focused on a first principles method of development. This has led to a tremendous amount of research and development that has been put into creating the underlying technology. In this lesson, we'll go into Ouroboros and Cardano's provably secure proof of stake protocol. In mythology, Ouroboros is usually depicted as a snake or sometimes a dragon eating its own tail in a closed circle. The word Ouroboros itself derives from ancient Greek, its literal meaning being tail eating or tail devourer. As a symbol, Ouroboros represents the infinity of time flowing back into itself in a never ending cycle, as if caught in an eternal loop. Ouroboros first appeared in Egypt in the 13th century BC. Later, alchemists adopted Ouroboros into their mystical symbolism. So why was this mythical creature chosen to represent the proof of stake consensus protocol that underlies Cardano? In this context, Ouroboros represents the possibility of infinite and ethical growth and scalability of the blockchain. And also the protocol feeds itself from previous epochs for the randomness used in the current epoch. This is known as eating its own tail as the pictorial representation of Ouroboros shows. Ouroboros' central message is the delivery of greater opportunities for the world with its preservation through much reduced energy consumption. Now that we know what Ouroboros is, what makes it unique? Ouroboros is the first provably secure peer reviewed proof of stake blockchain protocol. I know, it's a mouthful. In other words, Ouroboros offers mathematically verifiable security against attackers. The protocol is guaranteed to be secure as long as 51% of the stake is held by honest participants. Ouroboros realizes what is known as Nakamoto style consensus based on proof of stake. This provides the robustness of Bitcoin but ensures significant energy efficiency, higher speed and a fair reward mechanism. Also, the protocol ensures security against network attacks and has a rigorous game theoric mechanism designed to discourage monopolization. It's important to understand how we measure time with Cardano. Let's talk about epochs and slots. The Ouroboros protocol consists of epochs, which are sequences of slots. An epoch is composed by a fixed number of slots, and an epoch lasts for five days in Cardano's network. At each slot, one or more block can be produced by stakeholders selected as leaders previously through the randomness process. It is important to note that blocks cannot be created at any other time outside those slots. Blocks must be propagated to the network within the specific slot time. In Ouroboros, randomness plays an important role in selecting slot leaders. This ensures security against network attacks and also allows for a fair reward mechanism for honest stakeholders. Randomness is generated by a decentralized source of entropy built into the protocol itself. This creates a cryptographic Cardano chain that is random and unpredictable, which helps to prevent malicious actors from predicting who will be chosen as slot leader. Randomness affects slot leader selection at each epoch, ensuring that these slots are selected fairly and randomly across Cardano's blockchain network. Slot leaders will generally receive more slots in some epochs and fewer slots in others, causing the number to average out over time. With Ouroboros, Cardano offers users mathematically verifiable security against attackers, guaranteeing the robustness of Cardano's blockchain network and applications. In summary, Ouroboros is a revolutionary proof-of-stake consensus protocol designed to power the Cardano blockchain. It is a secure and energy-efficient protocol that has been designed to provide a fair reward mechanism for honest stakeholders. Ouroboros is the foundation of Cardano blockchain projects, enabling infinite possibilities in the future of blockchain technology. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Another great way to help support the creation of this content is to delegate to Kaizen Stake Pools. Join us for our next episode of the Cardano 101 course, where we'll discuss Cardano's EUTXO model. I'll see you there.